let me get right into it. This is not a, cl a clickbaity title. It's literally seven mistakes that I'm going to sh to show you. And I genuinely think it's going to help you not waste days, if not months, of trying bullshit things that you don't necessarily need to do. Or just because at the end of the day, we cannot know what we don't know. So hopefully this video is going to put you on the right path. Um, with that being said, let's get started. First mistake, following everything someone says as gospel. And that applies to me as well. Like I'm human. I I'm, I don't even consider myself as an expert. I I hate the term expert. <laughs> like I do think a lot of experts are actually broke and just like a flawed mentality that basically says you need to be an expert to make money. If being an expert means selling websites for let's see just an example here for 20k and then by being a beginner or intermediate I'm able to sell websites for $5,000, $10,000, then I'm happy being a beginner or intermediate. Okay. So if you, like, it's not even you who determine if you're an expert or not. That's why I don't like when someone call themselves expert um, is the market that decide that for you. In my city, I'm an, a Webflow expert and a framer expert. <laughs> like because nobody else do, does that and so it's kind of easy to be an expert when nobody else is on the same area as you and so personally i don't really care about being an expert i just know that i can do a b c d up until z solve problems and framer is just a tool that i use to create websites i don't even portray myself as framer designer whatever that might be this channel is solely made to help others learn framer and use framer to make money this is practically it then mistake number two skip design fundamentals so there's a lot of people especially those who don't really want to become a designer and they just want to you know learn framer to build landing pages for their coaching program whatsoever i totally understand but it won't take you let's say two months or one month on top of what you have to learn in order to learn the fundamentals like even if you're not a future designer or you don't want to become a web designer whatsoever i still recommend learning the fundamentals of design and framer. So like stacks, positions, absolute relative sticky, website structure, uh, heading, tags, divs, buttons. I rather want to spend more time learning how to shoot a basketball with a great form, which means solid fundamentals, rather than a shitty form, poor fundamentals, because it takes way more time to unlearn shitty things shitty habits compared to just learning the right habits from the beginning so i'm telling you take the time to understand what are those fundamentals and how you should learn them in what order and so on because like i said again don't follow everything as gospel try things and see what fits best for you like seems counterintuitive here but this is how I understood that I don't need to do freaking wireframes like wireframes been taught when you want to work for an agency, which brings me to the third mistake, which is not asking yourself the right questions. Do you want to become a freelancer or work for an agency? Different processes, different attributes to have as a freelancer. You need to be disciplined. You need to manage your own time, manage your projects, promote yourself, do a freaking great job. And, but at the same time, you get to choose with whom you work. You always practice. And like, like I just said, you don't need to follow the standard website design process, wireframing, 
lo-fi, uh, like gray things, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Call me crazy, but I jump straight into design. Lol. Yes, I jump straight into design. And like with Figma, yes, but even that, like no wireframings anymore. That's, uh, I call that like my X. It's my X. I, I don't use it anymore. So next point, as an employee, it's kind of different. You need to be willing to take orders. You have to still be disciplined. It's good for you if you like multifaceted projects, but that could be the opposite as well. I know people who, you know, work on freaking boring projects. You have to follow strict SOPs, so standard operating procedures, and you won't have creative freedom. That doesn't mean that you know, a great job doesn't exist. You can find a great job that doesn't necessarily take you or uh, give you order or restrict you from you know going out of boundaries trying things trying you know things your way um, but still you have to respond to project manager senior designer whatsoever uh, never had those never worked a nine to five in my entire life so cannot really know that but i knew for a fact that i don't i didn't want to work for an agency although i won't lie i applied to work for an agency in Toronto, which was, they, they were working for, uh, with wellness e-commerce stores. And it was very interested in working with them. But, uh, at the, uh, at the last step of the hiring process, they just shut me down. And that gave me, um, I'd say the fire to start my own thing. And that's it. And for references, I started freelancing like three years and a half ago, like part-time until now. Now that I consider myself full-time, but I was doing that part-time before. And when you say like, oh, part-time, how so? I, I thought that you don't have a nine to five. Yes, I don't have a nine to five, but I wasn't working more than 20 hours, but I really was just treating that as a hobby, which didn't really turn turned out well for me because I didn't have any clients and so on did a lot a lot of mistakes could be another video in itself i think we learn more from mistakes than fucking success stories apologize for the words i try to keep this channel <laughs> curse free uh sometimes it, it slip up sorry about that so anyway fourth mistake let's move on before that friendly pieces of, of advice try a personality test i suggest 16 personalities you know the nftg something like that it's great. You will learn a lot about yourself and you need to know yourself better. Otherwise, you'll hit more walls than necessary. And you know, this this is me again coming to the point where this is why I created this channel. Because even though I love working with people, I don't necessarily love the fact that I have to always follow up with them, always asking for feedback always doing this and that like very annoying in a sense but still fulfilling but again <laughs> teaching personally for me is more fulfilling than client projects and uh, also passive income in a sense so like everything that is digital i find it more fulfilling like teaching so coaching consulting selling digital products like selling templates always felt better than someone who paid me an invoice of $4,000. It's crazy, but it's true. Fifth mistake, falling for the flashy bullshit. So that's for me wanting to design award-winning websites. I don't even know how do you come in like to that conclusion that that will actually help you. And I think those people are they come from agencies uh, like they were working for agencies and that they had awards and then when they get out on their own they want to create award winning on their own as well so it's kind of like an ego thing but personally i couldn't care less about awards my clients don't care about awards they care about only one thing can i help them yes or no that's it can i make them more money yes or no this type of questions 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, unless that's what you truly want, run away from any teacher or instructor that is setting you this outcome. For example, learn how to create award-winning websites. Personally, I don't care. Even when I see when I see this headline, I just close it out as soon as possible. Awards are great, but believe me when I, I tell you, like they don't they don't bring you money. They don't pay your bills. So yeah, just focus on what you what what you really want as an objective. Do you want to get awards for your ego, or do you want to get money to pay your bills and saves uh, save uh, some on the side? So let's move on to the sixth point. Comparing yourself to someone else's work when you're getting started. And this is like one of the biggest mistakes, in my opinion, that I actually fall into. I'd say comparison disguised as perfectionism, something like that. So always trying to make things better and so on. Complete bullshit. I lost like six months of my time trying to make the perfect website for my portfolio. Um, but again, was extremely wrong. When I relaunched my current agency, I landed three clients without even having a website for myself, which is kind of ironic, uh, but sad reality. Again, you don't even need a website. Websites, if you have the right sales process. Uh, in my case, I will explain that on another video if you're interested. So, yeah. Also, I think that the Framer community is highly focused on aesthetics. Like, if you just browse the templates, they are outrageously cheap. And not only that, honestly, they look great aesthetically. They are aesthetically pleasing, but they're not really for oriented, like, oriented for business purposes like high converting websites like the basic stuff that actually prints money and personally i'm not into that stuff like yeah i do like aesthetics and my usp basically is aesthetically pleasing dangerously efficient because there's aesthetics and there's <laughs> you know printing money and what do we want? Again, do you want aesthetics or do you want to generate money? And I'm telling you, your clients, yeah, they might like something that is pretty, but they like more money. I can guarantee that. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And personally, I don't get it why uh, framework templates are so cheap. Because I see people sell showy templates, Wix templates for like $700. And the niche was photographers, interior designers, for example. And those people buy template for 700 bucks. And they don't care because they don't want to pay $5,000 for a website, for example. And so they take the cheaper option. But that thing, I, I, I think it comes with like a course that shows you how to um, you know, customize the templates and so on with the walkthrough. This is what I do with my templates. And I already sold MedSpot template for 500 bucks, which is extremely cheap due to the fact that I charge 5K for a website now. Before it was charging 3.5, 5, 4.5 from that in that range. And now I'm aiming to start charging like seven, eight. And the more that I get clients, the more I'm gonna raise my prices. Because it's not only websites, they are SEO optimized, they make money. And this is the goal, making money for yourself and for your clients. The last mistake is staying in learning mode for more than one month. And so like if you take a course and you're trying to take the course like throughout a month or so, but like you're slow and then you watch tutorials and then you come back to the course and then you forgot this and that and then this and then this happened and then you come back one month later and then you have to take the course again from the beginning. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Just block one month and practice framer every single day. And I, I can actually assure you 
that you'll be ahead uh way way ahead compared to someone who is just like trying to learn framer one day every four days uh so practice this is the the right way to do it imagine i was about to release a webflow course last year and then i came across framer i was like wow i love framer and so i took down the framer uh, the webflow course that i was about to release like i mean i was about to film actually and then i blocked two weeks to learn framer ins and outs and then one week after i filmed the course on framer just to show you how fast i went ahead of everyone that started like to learn framer yes i'm a web designer yes i know webflow yes i know figma but still it was a new new tool and teaching the tool helps me personally understand the tool better um, i personally also like to learn with mistakes and so I try to include them in my teaching, in my videos, but I can understand that not everyone likes that. So I try to just sprinkle them. Anyway, it is not supposed to take you more than a month. And if it does, then I don't think you're using the right learning method or you're not taking the right course or you don't have the right mindset. Uh, you have to have all of those together if you want to like wrap things up in a month and actually take months to to start getting clients Th this is how crazy it is and this is what i want to teach in my course so this brings me to my last <laughs> let's say quote it's not a quote but anyway tutorials are to fix problems my channel is not for entertainment Maybe a little, maybe just a little, but I want you to use your skills and start making money online ASAP. Like literally, this is my entire goal with my channel. I want you to make money and I want to change the narrative that, you know, Framer is cheap or like, bro, uh, I know people charging 2.5 for a lending page. And they're th those type of client that literally don't give a shit about the platform that has been developed on. Uh, yeah, my friend, he charges like three, yeah, basically 2.5 up to 3.5K for a landing page, at least $6,000 USD for a website. Plus, he has subscription based um, for, uh, for design services and so on, but he doesn't even mention Framer at all. I made more than those seven mistakes, but they are the ones that have slowed me down the most, not only with Framer, like I'm talking generally speaking. And I'd say I forgot to mention one additional mistake, which is getting trapped in perfectionism, but that doesn't necessarily get into the Framer quote unquote thematic, but still I would like to include it don't be a perfectionist i'm telling you it's gonna slow you down and instead of taking one month it's gonna take like three four five six so please 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 avoid them and last but not least i have a course that is coming about framer you know you you're not obligated to buy the course i will have a free course and a paid a paid course and at the end of the day you can just learn everything on my channel the course is basically, <laughs> I would say, you will give me charity in a sense because it will be structured. It's just like structured learning and you have access to me as well. You get to ask me questions. And so this is the value behind the price. It will be the first link in the description and I'll see you next time.